Um, when we came to review our new sepsis six pathway, we kind of had to wait patiently for the NC Pod review to come out, for the, the nice guidance to come out, and for the new sepsis definitions. So we waited for all of this. We also heard Paul talking um, earlier about our need to give data to the Welsh Government around our sepsis six compliance. So we also needed a pathway which would facilitate this. Currently, the only data that we're able to submit the Welsh Government is the data collected by our wonderful critical care outreach team. And because we've collected data right from the outset of when um, we develop critical care outreach, we collect data on everything that we do. We need to map our improvement over time and look for our hotspot areas that require improvement. The Welsh Government, uh, the Health Minister announced this morning um, about his desire to set up a sepsis registry for Wales. And again, this will rely on robust data and it will rely on the data that we provide. So with, with all that in mind, <coughs> we looked at them. Currently, the national data that comes out is our ICD-10 codes around mortality data. And I thought it would be just interesting to show you two slides on this. This is our UHW um, mortality data, and it shows um, really great improvement uh, of mortality. It's down to 18%. I think the national mortality for Wales, Paul, is around about 22%. And I think Scottish Government announced this morning their mortality overall is about 21%. So in UHW, we're doing really well. We can see when news was introduced and we can see when critical care outreach was also introduced in uh, UHW. In, in Flandoc, not doing so well. Our mortality has remained at 33%, quite static um, over the years. Both hospitals have news introduced, but only one has uh, critical care outreach. And I, I firmly believe that the education provided by our outreach team is phenomenal. And um, we know this from our data. Um, so we've developed a pathway which is going to help, I think, um, improve our data collection. It's going to help improve our compliance with sepsis 6. The first half of the pathway, this is based on the UK Sepsis Trust um, red flag um, sepsis. So the first half of the pathway is, is really straightforward. It's a screening tool. And basically, any patient with a new score of three or above should really trigger you to think, well, could this be a sepsis source? And it takes you right through to um, if one red flag um, is present to go straight onto the sepsis six pathway. The other side of the pathway is the amber pathway. So it's for those patients who don't fulfill uh, red flag sepsis, but there's still patients that are, you, you feel are quite ill and they need to, you need to keep a firm eye on. <clears throat> the difference in this pathway is that it has a sticker and um, this will go into the patient's notes. The, the difficulty with our previous pathways is they were poorly filled out. They kept getting lost. So I think I know we like stickers. We like stickers that are there in the patient's notes that make it easy for us to collect our data. This is time specific. The, all of the elements of sepsis six must be completed within one hour for us to be compliant. So even if you miss out one element, we're not compliant. And that's the data that's going back to Welsh Government. And to please our microbiologists, we've included an antimicrobial sticker. So our team, in, in, in terms of outreach, will review the patient after 48 hours to determine whether they're on the correct antibiotics. So all of this, this, that's it in a nutshell, really. Our new pathway is available now. Um, they, in medicine, the medical rapid response team are rolling the pathway out. Um, we'll have to develop a process for Landoc. Um, who collects this data in medicine um, is, is something that, that you will have to come up with the process for that. Um, I, I certainly hope it won't be nurses that are collecting the data, because this is an admin job. The, the sticker will be in the notes. It just remains for the notes to be reviewed. If you have any questions about the pathway, I'll be available in the foyer for the storyboards. So I'm happy to take questions then. Thank you very much.